Hey everyone, this is Akshay and welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I showed you how you could use an old spare Android phone and convert it into a motorcycle head unit display to run your Android Auto. And I must say thank you generally to all of you guys for leaving such positive response and support in the comments. I also saw that a couple of you had a lot of questions regarding how we can actually connect the Bluetooth device such as a Bluetooth intercom helmet to this whole Android Auto setup so that we can take calls, make calls and easily listen to music. Also few of you wanted to know if there can be a wired interface for this whole thing and uh, you do not have to go through this whole wireless support. And in this video I am going to answer how you can actually connect your Bluetooth device to the whole Android Auto setup and also use the Android Auto in your car as a wired setup. So without further ado, let's just dive into this video. So let's first look at using the whole Android Auto setup efficiently to connect to your Bluetooth device. For that, you need to open the head unit reloaded app on your phone, click on settings and click on audio. And here you will have an option called enable audio sync. Now, most of you will have this enabled. That's how it comes as talk. What I need you to do is disable this option. Once you disable it, go back to your main menu and then click on exit because we need the app to restart for the changes to take effect. I'm going to open it up again. And now let me quickly pair this up with the main phone. The Android Auto has loaded. Now what I want you to do is keep the Android Auto phone aside and let's bring focus onto your main phone. Now enable Bluetooth on your main phone and ensure that you connect your Bluetooth device to the main phone. Here I'm going to use this Bluetooth speaker but you may use your Bluetooth intercom helmet or any other Bluetooth device. The way it's going to work is the audio and the calls that come to your phone are controlled by the controls on your device. At the same time since this phone is in your pocket you can control the same using the head unit receiver. Now let's imagine the scenario wherein you have connected your helmet to the main phone. It's also connected to the receiver. You have begun riding and you are going to simply lock your phone and keep it in your pocket. Now I'm going to play music through the Android head unit receiver and the mu music is going to play from the speaker. As you can see, I can even control the music. As you can see, I, you can even control the music from the Bluetooth device if it has controls and the same will reflect here. So that's music playing on your Bluetooth device. Now let's look at calls. Let me go to the dialer. And I'm going to dial the number. Welcome to Geo. So I disconnected the call. Let me call again. Welcome to Geo. So I have lowered the volume on the speaker so that you can hear what I have to say. The moment you connect the main phone to the speaker and your head unit, the whole setup gets interlinked. So here you can see a Bluetooth icon. If you click on this, you can see now there's a Bluetooth option. If you click on speaker phone, it's going to play through the speaker of your main phone, not through the head unit phone. If you click on handset, it's going to go into the handset mode into your main phone, not this phone. There's not going to be any audio activity from here and the main phone will merely act as a controller. So I'm just going to stay on Bluetooth. And let me increase the volume. So that's it. That's how you connect your Bluetooth device to the whole Android Auto setup and ensure that you can receive calls and play music on your device and use the head unit receiver rather than your main phone while it stays in your pocket. Now in the second method, I'm going to show you how you can use a wired setup. This is especially useful for those who drive cars, who have an outdated infotainment system 
and would want to use a tab that's lying around them as a head unit receiver. For that, you need to install a head unit reloaded app on your tab. You need the main phone and you do not need the A wireless app on your main phone in this case. You need a USB cable, a regular USB cable with a type A and uh, based on your phone's main phone's port type C or micro USB. You need this small splitter cable. You get it for a dollar or two on Amazon. In India, it costs barely around 150 to 200 rupees. This has a power input, a, power, uh, a phone output, which goes to my secondary phone. Since it's a micro USB, I have chosen a micro USB type output. You can go for type C as well. And then an OTG connector. The OTG connector is where you connect any OTG device. Now, this is important because you, when you connect a power input like power bank or a USB wall socket or a USB port directly to this using a micro USB cable, it's no longer draining power from your phone. The OTG device is no longer draining power from your phone. Rather, it's getting power from a USB socket. So this also enables you to connect uh, mechanical hard drives to your phone and uh, access it. In this case, we want to preserve the battery on this because my S22 Ultra is a 5000 mAh battery and it's going to suck the life out of my uh, secondary phone, right? So let, me, let us just go ahead and uh, do the connections. I'm going to connect this cable here and I have a power cable that's, that I have already fixed to the wall socket. I'm going to give it to this power input. I'm going to connect this type A to this splitter OTG end and connect it to my phone. As soon as I'm connected, I can see that there is a charging symbol that came up. That means now this phone is receiving the charge from my power bank and I can click on the USB icon here on the main menu of head unit reloaded and it's going to show my phone here, Samsung Android. So I'm just going to click on that. And just like that, I have a wired Android Auto connection. Now, I'm running just the native Android Auto app on my main phone. I have ensured that it's updated. You do not need the A wireless app in this case. But this is the setup that you'll need to run a wired setup in your car. I hope you found this video useful and I really hope I answered most of your questions from the comments in the last video. And if it did help you, I would highly appreciate if you could drop a like to this video. Also subscribe to this channel if you want more such content and share it with the ones that need help on these kind of topics. Until next time, this is Akshay signing off. Take care and bye-bye.